Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is DigDat coming at you. We got some new videos coming out. Uh, today we're going to talk about uh, the Super Patcher 2.0 by Brett. That's a pretty cool tool that allows modding on newer firmware. That's right, newer firmware. We don't have to be on the old stuff. We can use the new hotness now. Here's a list of what it supports. If you're on the Mythic Pro, it's 104.0300. You can see the list for everything else there. Uh, quick high level, it basically gives us all the mods that we need. Height removal, remove the fly zone. We get Galileo satellites, some really cool things. So, uh, gonna do this video, gonna walk you guys through it. The tool's really simple, really easy to use. You wanna make sure that you're on stock firmware. And what this does is basically uh, does a couple things on the aircraft, and then we start a patching process using a custom firmware that has all those things removed that we talked about. Uh, so the first thing you're gonna do is hop over to GitHub, link will be in the comments download the, uh, the download package, open it up with WinRAR, WinZip, something along those lines, uh, extract that out somewhere on your hard drive, desktop works just fine. Once you've done that, go ahead and open up the folder. You'll see an exe file in here for the Super Patcher app. Go ahead and find that, double click it, open it up. Uh, if you get any notifications from Windows or an antivirus program, go ahead and choose to run the app or allow. Uh, it's a new app, uh, so some of them will do a false pause on that, but don't worry, it's a good app. It's not anything bad. So uh, once you do it, it's going to run a couple checks on the system, make sure internet's there, download a couple files to get set up and ready to rock and roll. Uh, so again, this is going to allow you to mod the new firmware for most of DJI aircraft. So it'll come up, it'll ask you to choose your aircraft, go ahead and pick that, and then it's going to bump over to the main menu. Main menu, you get a couple options. The first one's going to be run the Super Patcher tool. The second one's going to be download stock firmware. If you don't have stock, do that uh, and update it. And you can see there down below, we've got some more options for the Dink Downloader tool. We've got Dumbledore. Uh, we've got some other tools and utilities that's been built in. So really cool tool. Um, really, really like seeing not just that we can do this, but there's some thought behind it as well. And so um, what we're going to do now is uh, run the tool. We're going to connect it to the aircraft and we're going to start a, a process. So uh, go ahead and power on your aircraft, connect it, load the tool. Once it comes up, you're going to pick your aircraft from the, the list. I'm going to go ahead and pick Mavic Pro. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick one to start that'll kick off the Super Patcher process. Now, you're going to be prompted here for a couple things. So I'm going to go ahead and say yes to the battery, no to the stealth mod. But basically, follow the prompts. It's, it's foolproof as long as you follow the prompts. It's going to prompt everything up for you just as you need it. Follow what's on the screen. So the first thing here is Dumbledore. Click Enable ADB. Close that. Once you do that, go back to the tool. It's going to do some things, copy some files over to the aircraft. It's going to set it up so that we can start the flashing process. It should take just a minute here. Once that's done, you're going to go ahead and do that one more time. Uh, actually, I, I rebooted the aircraft in between there. i got to put that step in. Um, uh, so after a reboot, I brought it back up. We hit Dumbledore again, enable ADB. It connects, sends one more file over and basically sets things up so now we can do a custom flash. Um, so what we're going to do now is uh, within the tool it's going to open up Dumbledore and it's going to allow us to locate a firmware file and then we can start flashing. That's going to be in the main folder of the firmware, or sorry, of the tool that we downloaded. So go ahead and find that, pick that file. If, uh, if you run the tool multiple times and you pick different options, you might see different firmware in there. So make sure that you pick the right one. And then once you've picked it, go ahead and choose open. And then there will be a button up there on the top right for flash firmware. Hit that and that will start the, the flashing process. Flash is going to look a little bit different than what most of the, the firmware updates that you've seen. In this case, usually what I see is it'll hop up to about 12 to 15 percent. Um, it'll work for a little bit and then it'll jump from 15 percent up to 60 percent. It'll hang out at 50 percent for a little while, then it'll go up closer to 85, 90, and then it'll progress up to 99 and 100. And so the key here is to keep it on. Don't turn your aircraft off, don't unplug it. Just let it do its thing, let it do its magic. Uh, once the tool tells you that it's done, that it's finished, that's when you can actually go ahead and stop.
In my case, this took, I think I timed it, it was just under two minutes. Uh, and this video here is actually gonna be in real time. So you're gonna get, you know, this is exactly how long it took. In my case, this video is not sped up whatsoever. And so it should be done here in just a minute. Uh, and again, what this has done is it's basically just copying over a small custom firmware that's got pre-modded options for those hard to get things that the DJI has locked out in our firmware, like height removal uh, and the, the fly zone stuff. Uh, but we leave everything else stock. And so what we'll do after we're done here is we'll go into assistant, we'll mod those other options, but everything's on the up All right, so we're about, I think about a minute and a half in. Um, so it should be done here. In just a second, again, I wanted to leave this in real time so you guys could get a good example of how long it should take rather than um, rather than speeding the video up. I thought there'd be more value in that so you can see exactly how it should work. So there we go. Dumbledore says it's done. We can go ahead and close it and we can go back to the tool and proceed. Now, at this point, you're going to be prompted to enable uh, what I call the JK Song FCC mod. Um, what it allows you to do is to change the transmit power on your remote control and aircraft if you're not in an FCC region. Uh, if you don't know what this is, I recommend just saying no. Um, really, you probably want to stay away from it. You don't want to mess with that. Um, doesn't really do any harm, but yeah. For the video here, I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, um, just to show you what it looks like. So I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, yes. I'm going to go ahead and proceed here. Uh, it'll open up Dumbledore. We want to enable ADB. And what that does is that allows a, a connection to be made to the aircraft so that we can do some specific functions that we need to. Uh, probably should call out this works on Mavic Pro, the P4P V2, and then Spark. And so then you'll be prompted with a couple options. I'm just going to do standard FCC mode. Uh, I don't recommend doing boost unless you really know what you're doing. And then it'll finish up and you're good to go. So the next step we want to look at is verifying the flight controller. Uh, we're going to use the No Limit Drones tool, which is really nice. Uh, you'll see down there in the bottom left hand corner the uh, the flight controller version and so what we should see is that this version matches what the super patcher tool showed us on the other screen um, if for some reason the flash didn't complete or you saw it go from zero to 100 percent really quick then you probably notice that these won't match in which case it's an indication that you want to start the patching process over again and so once that's done, it'll bounce us back to the main menu. And then what we want to do is go into uh, Assistant 2, Enable Debug, and the Look at Parameters. So what this does, again, is it unlocks the height, the no-fly zone stuff, so that those aren't enforced anymore. But because in the newer versions of firmware, uh, they basically made those lockdown or hidden parameters. So this goes in, modifies those hidden parameters, and they're hard-coded then. But we still got to come back into Assistant. We got to do our regular modding. So you can see I've got bookmarked here all the regular things that we do for speed, um, the wind warnings, and, and different things there. So I'm going to have to go back through now and, and customize all of those. Uh, but you also notice that there's some that are blank. Uh, and so those blank ones are usually the height, the no-fly zone ones. So those are the ones that DJI has removed. Um, so you can see here, here's a snapshot of what my parameters look like. Um, everybody likes it tweaked or tuned just a little bit differently, and that's totally okay. Um, a lot of people ask me what I like, what I like to fly with. Uh, and usually I'll fly a little more conservative in GPS mode, a little more aggressive in sport mode. Um, but that's pretty much it. We uh, ask that you fly safely, you know, with great power comes great responsibility, but also have fun. A uh, big shout out to Brett uh, 8883 for his work on the tool and then also to all the other guys in the community and everything that you guys do to help make the underlying tools that, that allow this to be, uh, to be possible.